find my niche. That's always the, the question. Like, what's my niche? What's the perfect niche for my business? Those are the questions I get weekly, many times a week. And they're great questions, but how do you how do you find your perfect niche? I'm Brian Toder of BrianToder.com. I show people just like you how to finally make money online and get my recommendation on how to finally make money online, just like I've been doing, by going to BrianToder.com. There is a link in the description below this video. Get it and get it now. So how do you find your niche? Now, this is really important. It will take time. It will really take time because some people think that I'm just going to choose something. Just look, look at split that I'm immediately. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to do that. I want you to think about it. So we're going to talk about this. So people ask me like, how did I get into this niche? Because truthfully, um, I've only been doing this for about a little over a year now successfully. I've been in this business unsuccessfully for over 10 years and it was pretty bad. It really was. Um, I had virtually no success and, and I could never figure this business out. So when I started this niche of making money online, well, was I a charlatan? And the answer is no, because I was teaching about certain things like making a website and doing an email series and how to write and how to get on the camera and, and how to speak. I would teach some of these elements and I, until I got to the point where I started making money in this business and then I could teach about what I did to start making money. You see it? So this is my journey. So if you know some of my history, you probably know that I started out as a professional magician. I was doing birthday parties and balloon animals starting at 17 years old. And it got to the point where I traveled around the world and it was spectacular. I really, I, I've been to places like the North Pole and certain places where you just can't go unless, well, I, I, I was doing the USO show for the, for the military and it was great. Back then, I loved being a magician. I loved it. I used to tell people, you know, I'm a professional magician and I love talking about it, buying the, the, the magic tricks and learning new stuff. I'd go to seminars and conventions and I loved magic. Now, no, no, I, 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 I haven't done a magic trick in years. So if I were looking for a niche for me, Magic, no, because I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to buy anything. I don't want to review it. nothing. I don't even like to see magic tricks, nothing, no interest. After my magic career, I became a stage hypnotist and I loved hypnosis because it's just like magic, but, but better. And nobody barked like a dog or clucked like a chicken. Uh, no, uh, but they did things on stage that were so funny and I, I used to love it because I used to say that um, while the audience watching the show, I was watching the show because I never knew what they were going to do. So much fun. And I transitioned into that into clinical hypnosis and I started Plymouth Hypnosis Center and I was doing that for about 16 years and it was one of the most successful hypnosis businesses in the world. And it, it was wonderful. I loved it talking about hypnosis. I like doing hypnosis. I made um, videos and, and audios and I went to conventions and events and it was so much fun. Uh, now, no, I'm not interested in it because I don't want to talk about weight loss or smoking or stress. I, I really have no interest in it. I don't want to talk about or teach about hypnosis. This business, making money online, I just love it. It's so much fun fun because there's there's a lot of characters in this business uh good characters not so good characters uh the reviews i love doing them because there's so much fun to me it's a show i love doing the, these videos and i love talking about it and the neat thing is my journey in this 
is just like yours, where I, I started out with nothing, like nothing, nothing in my business, where I, I was making no money in this business. I had no list. I had nothing. I did have some of the skills of, of doing video. Um, I, I could build a website. I could write. Uh, I could create emails, but I couldn't build a list. I had a website, but I couldn't get traffic. So I started this niche about certain things like uh, my trip to a Weber and what happened there and how to build a landing page. These are things that I knew that could help you, but I, I, I couldn't say how to make a hundred dollars a day in this business if I've never made a hundred dollars a day. Now, there are people who do that. They will tell you how to do something when they never had any success. I've never done that to you uh, because I hated when people do that to me. So I picked a niche in something I love to talk about. I love to, uh, I have a real interest in this. I love the fact that I can make money dropping out of the sky with this business. Let's talk about how to make money online. Most people have the same thoughts. Why can't I make money online? Go to BrianToter.com for my unconditional recommendation on how to make money online and how I finally succeeded online after years of failing. Get my perfect recommendation for you now by clicking on the link below this video at BrianToter.com. And I love doing these videos. I don't have a script. There's no teleprompter. That I got nothing. I had uh, one, two, three, like eight, eight words, and that's my script. And I'm just talking because I know what this business is about. So, how do you find your niche? One of the questions I always get is, uh, what, what's the niche that I should be in? And I can never answer those questions because I know nothing about you. And even if I know something about you, I don't really know if you if you really like the niche. So I'll give you an example. So just this past week, one of my subscribers asked me, uh, you know, what niche should he be in? And I said, well, I don't know. What what do you like? And the first thing he came up with was cooking. So I asked him, do you like cooking? Do you know? Do you, do you want to talk about cooking all the time? Um, do you have any recipes? Do you have any uh, stories about cooking? It, it's a good niche because it, it, there's a lot of people are, that are interested in it and you can sell affiliate products like um, tools and utensils and recipes and what else? Pots and pans and you know gizmos galore, right? It, it's, it's great. And he came back and said, well, I don't really want to write and talk about cooking. I said, well, what do you think? What, what else could you do? And he said, survival. And I said the same thing. Well, you know, it's a good niche because tools and tents and clothing and uh, weapons and food you know, preparation, all that stuff. But do you want to talk about it? Do you want to do it? Do you like it? It's important that you like it because you need the enthusiasm. And um, so he's still deciding. And he's just deciding because I, I said, take your time. Take your time. It's so important. Take your time. Now, the good news is you're not married to your niche. <laughs> you're not. Because if you go down a path and say, mm, I don't really want to do that, it's fine. You can just change course. But take your time so that you don't have to do that. Now, I wrote a book about weight loss. I have a website about weight loss. I have thousands, and I mean thousands, of testimonials of people who I helped lose weight. I was really good as a hypnotist. I wouldn't want to talk about it at all. I don't. I, same thing with smoking. I've never smoked in my life. I, what, what would I talk about? But in this business, making money online, I'm having so much fun with it. And so for me, it's a great niche and I love talking about it. 
Philip always asked me, do you have any uh, things to talk about on, on your videos? I said, I have so many things. I have a list, like I have a list of a list. I have so many things to talk about. Why? Because for me, this is a great niche. For you, think about it. And I'm really serious. Take the time. Take the time. I say it, take the time. So make a list of what, what are the things that you really like to do or talk about. You don't have to love it. You really don't. But what do you like to do? Uh, maybe it's camping. Maybe it's travel. Maybe it's building. Maybe it's writing. I, but you have to figure this out. Now, if you need some help, put the comments below this video of what you think your niche could be and answer the question. Do, do you like it? What do you like about it? Do you have any skills in this niche? You know, if it's knitting and you don't know how to knit, like I love dancing, love dancing, love it. But I, I wouldn't want to talk about it or teach it or anything like that. That's not my thing. So you do that. Figure out what you like, what you want to talk about. Uh, is it something you could uh, use that as your niche in your business? And, and could you be an expert in that? Again, think about it. There you go. Put the comments below this video. You can email me. You know how to find me on BrianToter.com. I am Brian Toter of BrianToter.com. I show people just like you how to finally make money online. And we'll talk soon. Thank you.